In Photoshop, you might decide, I want a brush, such as a chocolate cake brush, or anything, maybe a helicopter brush. Well, you can, of course, go and find an image of a helicopter or a chocolate cake, but with the latest version, Photoshop 2024, you can create a selection. I'm just going to create a quick selection like that using the rectangular marquee tool. Go to Edit, and down to the new feature, which you can find here, Generative Fill. So Generative Fill, select that, and then type in what you want. Chocolate cake. Make certain you spell it correctly, and then click Generate. Now, of course, you could vary it, make chocolate cake with sprinkles, chocolate cake with iced topping, or something like that. But it will generate it. And there is a chocolate cake. Now, of course, you've got a variety of chocolate cakes there. You've got the properties. You've got three examples you can use. I'm just going to go with this one. Perfectly reasonable. Going to select it. So again, create the selection. And with that, go to Edit and then down to Define Brush Preset. And you can see the size of the brush. Give it a name, Chocolate Cake. And click OK. And now I'm just going to resize a bit because that's a bit too big. And of course, you might like to manipulate it a bit further. Go to the brush settings, which you can find window and brush settings. And you can put color dynamics, put that on. Maybe shape dynamics, change the size jitter, select, deselect, and then click and apply multiple times with your new brush. And you can see there, you've got a chocolate cake brush stroke. Now maybe you decide, you know what? I want a helicopter design. Don't have to go with just what I created. So again, edit and down to generative fill and you can just type helicopter and generate and it will generate a helicopter. So it's got and the great thing. It gives you opportunities to sort of read the tips. It's got about five or 10 or 15 of them and it will give you some really good advice. And there's a helicopter. It actually looks to be honest, more like a drone. But with that, I'm going to go with that. So then select it. No, you could actually select some of these ones. Actually, that one is even nicer, I think, as a brush. Again, looks more like a drone. But again, you can select the area. But also, if you want to define it as a brush, you don't have to use it in RGB. You can convert it to a grayscale. So, or just use image adjustments and maybe go with threshold and just reduce it to a sort of like more black and white. And you can just tweak the setting here. And you can see as you do that, you might decide, you know what, that looks better as a brush stroke. You could also, of course, add various filters, maybe a blur, etc., to create different designs that way. And then create another selection over there and edit. And again, define brush preset. Click OK. And now that's stored away. And again, you can resize it. Don't have to. You can resize it down to about 390. Then again, change brush chip, spacing. Maybe shape dynamics, so you can reduce it in size, and color dynamics, and then apply your brush stroke. And you can see now you've got a lovely helicopter brush stroke design. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.